Hey guys, so today I'm going to tell you about the Dame Edna collection that comes out December 26th. And um, I got it early, so I wanted to um, give you guys a review on it so that if you want to get it, you can, you know, put together some cash and um, pick it up when it comes out. It was supposed to come out with the Chill Collection, um, but they uh, released the Chill Collection early. So I got some stuff from that too, but I wanted to do this first because this is not out yet and I wanted you guys to check it out. So I was saving my, um, along with, you know, some money, I was saving my um, gift card that I got that you guys saw a couple of videos of um, to finish it off with these last two collections, the Chill and the Dame Edna. And then if I had anything left, I was just going to pick up some stuff from the pro store, which is exactly what I did. So you'll see a couple of videos following. Um, so let's get started so I don't run off and ramble and whatever. First two things I'm going to show you because they're quick. Um, I got the whole collection. I have been waiting for this. I love the colors. Um, it's just um, one of those collections that has what I like. I like, you know, um, light, sheer type stuff. Not that um, this stuff is like sheer, but it's not like super pigmented like everybody always wants to see from MAC. So with that being said... Here's the nail lacquers. Um, this one's called Varicose Violet. Um, that comes in regular packaging, you know, MAC packaging. And this one's called um, Asia Teak. That one was a frost, and this one's a cream. And it's just a red. And it's a real pretty red. I don't have any red nail polish, if you can believe that. Um, but I, you've seen the nail polish collection. I had no reds. Um, then the, two, the three lip glasses. I'm wearing one. And that one is this one here, and it's called um, Possum Nose Pink, and it's the sponge applicator. And this is the packaging. And my gripe is that this is like a sticker, and so it's peeling off on a couple of them. Um, so. That kind of was a little disappointing. I mean, it's not a big, huge deal, but it's a little bit annoying. But, you know, you can always put um, clear nail polish over it so it doesn't peel off. So, yeah. And this is a swatch of it right there. And I'm wearing it. It's real pretty sheer. It's got, like, some purple sparkles in it. The next one is um, Splendid. And this one's a thicker consistency than the other two. And you'll see what I mean. This is how it looks. See, even spread out, it's much thicker. And they're, you know, just as sticky as they always are. Um, maybe a little less. I don't, it doesn't feel um, as sticky as normal, but I also don't have a whole lot on. Um, and then this one's Hot Frost. And this is a pink with like silver in it, silver sparkles. This one has like, this one's just more thick. I don't see any like um, sparkles or anything in it. And same thing with this one. Applicator and this is a swatch right there. So now I'm going to show you the lipsticks. And this is the... the um, packaging just very cute I love the color um, these colors are popping they're out there so if you don't you know if you want some pigmented lipsticks um, these will do it this one is called Kangaroo Rouge and this is an amplified and this is a red and it's gorgeous and this is a swatch the middle one such a vibrant pretty color I don't usually buy reds, but it was, it was so pretty. Um, this one is an amplified, also in its coral polyp. And this is how it looks. This one's crazy. When you put it on, it's insane, especially on somebody with my skin tone. My lips were like Angelina Jolie big. They were like ridiculous. They are like, I said, oh my God. But it's gorgeous. And this is how it looks. And this is the last one. This one is called Gladiola, and this is a matte. 
This goes on so smooth and so pretty, especially with the lip glass. This is it right there. So those are the three colors and the three um, lip glasses. They're very vibrant, pretty colors. They go on so smooth, creamy, even the matte one. The matte one just like lays there. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to show you m my two favorite things, which are, these are um, highlight powders, and this one's called Spectacle. And this is the packaging. And same thing with this, like, it's just stuck on there it doesn't have any type of coating so it can lift off peel off whatever this is a little sponge it comes with and then this is the first color spectacle so pretty it has like a um a velvety shimmery thing going but once you dab into it it kind of goes away so what the hell just happened with my lighting there so I'm going to show you, this is how it looks. It's a gorgeous highlight color. I mean, you could use that on the eyes. All over face, whatever. So that's that one. It's like a pinky color. And then, and it, the compact also has a mirror, just in case I didn't show you. I think all the compacts do, but, okay. And this is the other one, same type of packaging. And this one is called What a Dame. And this is more in the peach family with the yellow, um, or not yellow, gold name. So when you like swirl in there, you're going to get some of that gold too. And that's how that looks. And that's the two of them side by side. So you got a pink and a peachy color. Okay, then the next thing, uh, the last two things are trios. And these, the packaging is definitely better. See, I don't know if you could see the coating on it as opposed to this. Wait, it's just a sticker. So I don't know why they did that. But um, yeah, this is not going anywhere. And this opens very easily. You just push right in here and boom. It's not like rocket science. And it has a mirror. And I'm going to tell you the colors right now. Let me just clean my hand. Okay. The first color is Royal Tour. And it's a satin. That's how it looks. The next one is Dame's Desire. It's a frost. That's how it looks. A purpley color. And the last one is Climate Blue, which is a velvet. And it's also a repromo. I don't know what um so you could see like I went over that I was stupid I'll show you the blue that's the blue and then this is the lighter color okay there so you could see like they're pigmented but they're more on the sheer side so if you know they're definitely buildable but if you have the whole Mac needs to be pigmented mentality you may not you know, appreciate these, but that's the three of them together. And I'm just looking at my time. The last one is, I was messing with these. Same packaging. And then these are the three colors. You have Fine Shine. Let's see if I could do this without making a, this one's a little as like some fallout and it's kind of like, um, see if I could show you, you see this, this fallout on that one when you go on it and it's a silver. Then the middle one is called Wisteria and it's a velvet. It's a real pretty blue. And the last one is my favorite color in this palette, which is like a gray with some shimmery silver in it. And it's called Divine Night and it's a velvet. And that's the one there. Those are the three colors. So, like I said, um, they're pig pigmented enough. It has a pretty decent color payoff. But if, you know, you're looking for that pop in, like the, the way the lipsticks are type of thing, the eyeshadows are not like that. But 
the um in my opinion anyway but the um these powders are off the hook off the hook so you definitely if anything get those powders they're highlight powders um and that's it so i'm going to show you real quick packaging this is where the powder came in this is where the eyeshadows came in and it's got like red and lipstick and lip gloss and they all came with these little inserts that say stuff and these came in regular matte boxes so that's it guys um i got a couple more videos to go so um check them out and i hope this gives you um information on whether you want to get this collection or not and if you have any questions comments you know what to do i'll talk to you guys